Chapter 10, Lesson 2, Volume of Triangular Prisms A prism with bases that are congruent triangles is a triangular prism. To find the volume of a triangular prism, you use the formula V equals B times H, where B is the area of one of the triangle sides. And H represents the height from one triangle side to another triangle side. Example one, find the volume of the triangular prism. So to find the volume of a triangular prism, you first have to find the area of one of the triangular sides. So the area of a triangular side is one half times the base, which is five, times the height, which is 10. One half times 10 gives us five, and then five times five gives us 25. So we have 25 for the triangular side. Now we have to multiply the triangular side with the height or the space between the triangle in the front to the triangle in the back. And the size between that is two. So we multiply 25 times two to find the volume of the whole prism which gives us 50 inches cubed. Try this one yourself to check for understanding. Example two, find the missing dimension of the prism. So let's start with the formula for volume. Volume equals B times H, where B is the area of a triangle. So the formula for the area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height of the triangle times this height, which is the height of the prism. So now let's start filling in any given information. So we have the volume, so we can replace V with 1,386 equal to 1 half times the base of the triangle is 14 times the height of the triangle is 22 times, now we're missing the height of the prism, which is here, so we're just gonna leave that as H. Now we can start simplifying what we have. One half times 14 gives us seven. Bring everything else down. Now we can do seven times 22. We get 14 and then 15, so this equals 154. Bring down our H. Bring everything else down. Now 154 is being multiplied by H, and I wanna know what H is, so we wanna get it by itself. So to get H by itself, I can use inverse operations and do the opposite of multiply by 154 and divide both sides by 154. So now those cancel out, and we have our variable H by itself. H is equal to 1,386 divided by 154, which equals 9. And because this is a missing dimension, 
the units of it are just meters. So the missing dimension is nine meters. Pause the video here and try this one yourself. Example 3. Seth cut a piece of cake for himself. The cake has the dimensions shown. The volume of the piece of cake is 30 cubic inches. What is the height of the cake? So the formula for volume of a triangular prism is B times H, where B is the area of a triangle. And the formula for the area of the triangle is 1 half times the base times the height of the triangle, times the height of the prism. So let's fill in any given information. So we know that the volume is 30, so we can replace V with 30, equal to 1 half times the base of the triangle is 4, times the height of the triangle is 6, so the only missing piece of information is the height of the prism, which is H. So now we can start simplifying. 1 half times 4 gives us 2. Bring everything down. 2 times 6 gives us 12. So we have 12H is equal to 30. So now to solve for H, we have to get it by itself by using inverse operations. So the operation happening now is multiplication. So we're going to do the inverse and divide by 12 on both sides. These 12s cancel out, and we're left with H equals, now we have to do 30 divided by 12. So 12 goes into 30 two times, which equals 24. We have 6, add a decimal, and a 0. 12 goes into 60 five times, so H equals 2.5, or 2.5, inches.